Hey fam, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name is Suleiman, an MBA from StartTech Business School and son of two photographers. And in this video, we are going to talk about taking notes on an iPad. In my case, my weapon of choice is the M1 iPad Pro, but if you're planning to buy a different iPad, the experience is almost the same. The key points that we will discuss in this video are what note taking is not, and once that's out of the way, we can discuss what note taking is. Then we'll talk about why choose an iPad as the most hybrid form of note taking versus traditional note taking. And last but not the least, choosing an app, which in my case is Freeform. Traditionally, if we go back in time, we have been accustomed to writing on notebooks and then carry with us different pencils and pens paired with highlighters to be able to mark important points, then color code them. Note taking has been an art in itself and not for the faint hearted as you have to be seen carrying a ton of highlighters with notebooks and a ton of clutter in your hands. But the good news is that the things are changing. This is exactly what Marshall McLuhan was trying to convey when he said that our age of anxiety is in great part the result of trying to do today's jobs with yesterday's tools. Luckily, we have the tool now for today's problems. But let's clarify something. What note taking is not. Note taking is not you transcribing every single thing that the other person is saying or writing word for word what's written in a book. But it's the selective points with a mixture of what you already know and rephrasing it with your two cents. With that out of the way, let's move into what note taking really is. The importance of effective note taking helps in being more productive and learning better, especially when you write it yourself. There's a lot of research that claims that writing is better than typing. In my case, it's the Apple Pencil, but it's fine. Even if you want to type it with your phone, it totally works. Now you need to develop an effective note taking strategy. Experiment with different note taking strategies and techniques. See what works best for you. Whether you prefer bullet points, mind maps, carnal method, or a combination of different approaches. Just focus on capturing the key information efficiently and effectively. And paper has proven not to work for me as I never revisit it or visit it too late, like many of my friends. I don't know how many of you can relate, but you can look at the pile of journals that you have accumulated over the years. And when you open them up, you're like, ah, I wish I would have done that or that or that. Oh, I wrote this 10 years ago. That's not an effective journaling. In that case, if you really want to do something, and if some goals are really very important to you, I suggest you write it in front of your bed or on your mirror so that you can see it every single day. Moving on to why use an iPad as the most hybrid way of note taking. We get so many ideas in the most awkward of moments, like in the shower or while meditating. And we want to write them down as soon as they occur. As David Allen says that, your mind is for having ideas, not holding them. Keep your mind free for having more ideas and keep a system for storing those ideas. This way you can put your mind to always keep on generating newer ideas. Just like in the workforce, we always keep thinkers separate from the workers. We learn so much from so many different places. As for me, I like to watch a lot of YouTube videos, listen to audiobooks, podcasts, follow Insta posts of my favorite creators, and I'm always doing courses to constantly upskill myself. I need a place to put all of these things together, like a distilled form of my learnings, which I have taken from here, there, everywhere, into a digital journal that I can carry with myself wherever I go and is available with me all the time. And this is where the iPad comes in. A perk of the iPad is that you can use it from the comfort of your bed or travel around the world with it. And unlike the laptop or the desktop, which with its weight and form isn't usually that consumption friendly. And yes, I prefer using an Apple Pencil I prefer investing a little more and getting the original stuff rather than 
the fake cheap third party products so that I can enjoy the best experience. The best investment is in the tools of one's own trade. That's what Benjamin Franklin once said. The Apple Pencil gives me the flexibility to write, draw freely as if I'm using a regular paper on pen. I find this particularly beneficial as I'm in a meeting or seminar where I need to quickly write down some points. And the most important reason for me to get an Apple Pencil is that it just clicks. Choosing the app to be used, there are several note-taking apps available for iPad. Each has its own functionalities and use. Popular options include Apple's built-in notes, GoodNotes, Notability, Evernote, OneNote. Choose the one that best suits your preferences and needs. I prefer only telling you about the app that I use as it eliminates the issue of choice by not giving you so many different options. So let's get into it. I prefer using Freeform as it allows me to easily create a new note. I can easily highlight, underline or strike through the text, use a variety of pens to write with different thicknesses and draw different shapes, use different colors so that I can color code my writing, which is crucial for me when I'm studying or reviewing notes. You know, when we think about digital notes or digital journaling, we think about typing everything because there was a time when we were restricted to only typing it, which can be restraining at times because sometimes you have a thought or an idea which cannot be typed and you really need to draw it. I choose Freeform as it gives me an unlimited canvas to draw, doodle, write, add post-it notes, other medias like pictures. If I see something interesting in class, I can just take out my iPad, take a picture and just include it in my notes. I also use the split screen feature on my iPad. This allows me to have two apps open at the same time, which is great for multitasking. I can have my note taking app on one side and a textbook or a website on the other side. Some of the advantages of this is that you have ability to insert pictures, videos, web clippings in your notes, and that's great. These elements can enhance your notes and provide additional context or visual aid. It gives you the ability of rearrangement in case you want to create something in between the lines, whether it be what you have written or what you have drawn or what you have imported as a picture. So if I want to make any adjustments to my writings or to my drawings, then I can just readjust things in this magical canvas and move things around, which wouldn't be possible if it was written physically on a notebook. And let's say that I'm away from my iPad and I have a thought that I want to include in my notes, then I can just use my phone to add a post-it note to my free form and include the points that I want to. And the best part about this app is that if you're working with someone else on an assignment or a group, then you can all share it and collaborate and brainstorm ideas together, which is great for group projects, whether you're a student or professional working with a team iPad makes it so easy to carry your notes from one place to another or from one device to another on iCloud, which is synced across all your devices. So you can choose to work with your iPhone, iPad or your laptop or even your desktop. I really hope you can optimize your note taking experience with an iPad and leverage its features to enhance your productivity and learning. I encourage you all to experiment the note taking experience on an iPad and be as playful as you want to be. I hope this has been informative for all of you and I would like to thank you all for watching. Bye bye.